Hey everybody, Andrew here out at the Howard Homestead with Joe from Premier One Supplies and we've set up a 3D electric fence to help keep deer out of the orchard. So Joe, what are some considerations someone needs to take in before they set up a fence to keep deer out of their orchard? Absolutely, I can help with that. You gotta take deer behavior into consideration. So they are creatures of habit, they travel the same paths. Have you ever walked in the woods and there's a path through it? Uh, there's small critters or deer created that, so they're in the habit of coming through certain areas so if you're trying to fence them out of one of those spots, you're going to have to have a very strong fence, as in a visual barrier with a good shock to keep them out of that area. Also, uh, you told me they're coming into your orchard and feeding on your trees. The trees, they're in the habit of coming here for their grocery shopping. So we're going to have to break them of that habit too. So that's why we're setting up the 3D fence today, because we want that depth to the fence to help give them a little anxiety when coming in this area, because they're going to be concerned about going up and over this. And I know a lot of folks out there will comment that the fence is not tall enough to keep in deer or keep out deer because we've seen them drive, drive down the highway, clear field fences with ease. Those fences don't have depth. This has depth, so that's going to keep them off. Uh, so, and what we're also doing, because we have to break habits, we're going to draw them in to the hot fence. So we're going to put a lot of bait caps on these to draw them in. They're going to touch their nose in it and they're going to get a memorable shock. Uh, earlier we measured about 12,000 volts on the fence. You want at least 3,000, so that 12 is going to be good. That will give them a good memorable shock. If you go any lower than that, uh, they're probably not going to be as deterred to stay away from the fence. So make sure you have at least 3,000 volts on the fence. Uh, if you're not getting that, you may need a larger energizer or you may need to add some grounding to your electric fence field. So that improves the conductivity of the fence. So if we can help with that, if you have any questions, just email Premier and we'll help you. All right, great. So if you need an electric fence or other supplies to keep deer out of your orchard, you can head over to PremierOneSupplies.com. If you want to grow your own orchard, you can order that at StarkBros.com.